I figure I'll measure my pancake eating with the level of syrup that I have. And the goal is to get rid of these three bottles of syrup in the time that I'm here. And we can check my progress by checking the syrup level in the bottles at the end of every video. I also found something very handy. I just click on the manuscript to see where I'm at. I used to be at 8,000 words. Now I'm at 10,500, so 2,500 words, it's quite a bit. Another goal that I have while I'm out here is to free write the entire first draft of uh, that fourth book. And I'm also trying to read 10 books. I'm almost done with that book that I'm using still as a tripod. Uh, I got like 50 pages left out of 500. I wrote another short story. So... It's time for a story, it's time for a story, a very special story, especially for you. As a challenge, I decided to write a story about something boring and make it interesting to flex my vocabulary and creativity muscles. That's why I titled this story Boring Task. I did edit this one much more than the previous story, so... So there should be a little bit more polish to this one. I was assigned to dig around an open well and level out the surrounding dirt. A level surface was necessary for the cover that would be placed around the well, which was currently a simple hole in the ground. With only a shovel and gloves, I headed out into the woods to arrange the landscape. The terrain resembled a bog due to the heavy rains. With every step, my feet sank a few inches into the grassy muck making a splock sound, like I was walking through a plate of spaghetti and meatballs. To keep my footing, I only watched my feet. The mud underneath them would give way and shimmer white droplets and puddles, reflecting the clouded sky above me. I made it to the well and snicked my shovel into the ground. There were rocks sloped at an angle against a concrete tube sticking about two feet from the ground. This was the well, and the covering was made of cedar. If it were placed on the rocks right now, the rocks would need at least some dirt on the top to pad it like a pillow. I began moving the rocks from the piled side and putting them to the other side to balance out the terrain pressed against the concrete. Once this was done, I took a small break before moving the dirt. The well was a side feature along a trail in the woods. I had bushwhacked my way to its location and now was looking for the trail itself. I walked a few steps and found the hardened ground splitting the grass aside like a crash landing had just occurred. I looked at the well, which didn't look back. Quite honestly, it looked bored. I returned and started pulling clumps of grass surrounding the well. The rain had conditioned the ground to a foam-like softness, and the grass about two feet tall, came out as easily as pulling a sword from a sheath. After tossing these into a pile, I threw a few shovels full of dirt onto the newly moved rocks. Since the rain had decided to drizzle again, the dirt started to silt through the cracks, turning into a chalky, pancake-batter-like substance. I took a step away from the well to check the levelness. I was close. I hovered my head over the well and saw my hooded reflection looking nearly as bored as the well. With the shovel in my hand, I started stamping and champing about like a marching soldier, pressing the fresh dirt into the ground. With every stomp came a better degree of level for the well. I shouldered the shovel and splocked the way back I had arrived. The End Till next time.